One very new and fun part to learn in analytical geometry is the angle of inclination. So let me teach you quickly about this. The angle of inclination is the angle formed from the positive side of the x-axis to the straight line. From the positive side of the x-axis to the straight line. As shown in these diagrams below, you can see this red angle over here, that is angle theta, and it's formed from the positive side. So the right hand side of the x-axis is considered the positive side, and it's from that line to the straight line. Okay, so that is the angle of inclination. We can look at it on the other side as well. Here we have a, neg uh, a line that has a negative gradient, but still we look at the positive x-axis all the way to the straight line. And here you can see this is now an obtuse angle. First we had an acute angle, which is less than 90, and now we have an obtuse angle that is greater than 90, but less than 180. And an, an angle of inclination uh, would either look like, uh, <laughs> as shown in the first one, I'm gonna label this one A and the second one B. So it can either look like A or B, no other way really. Um, and I'll show you how to calculate it uh, for both cases. Okay, because there's a slight improvement that we need to do on our formula uh, for the second case. Now, the last thing that I wrote here at the bottom that I do encourage you to also write, so pause it if you want to copy that down. We use the angle of inclination to find the gradient of a line or even vice versa. So if you have the angle of inclination, you can work out the gradient. Uh, if you have the gradient, you can work out the angle of inclination. It's similar to like when you have an equation uh, and there's an x and y variable. If you have x, you can work out y, and if you have y, you can work out x. If you have the input, you can work out the output. If you have the output, you can work out the input. So that's how it goes. Um, I'm going to erase all of this off, and then we're going to have a look at two examples where we must calculate the equation. Um, or oh, sorry, calculate the gradient of a line given the angle of inclination. Okay. Okay, so that's our first Cartesian plane. And I'm going to do another example over here, so I might as well just draw that already. Um, I'm going to draw a black line. Let's draw one like this, going up like that. And another one going in a negative direction. Okay, we'll label this example A and example B. Okay, now let's say for the first example, they gave us the gradient of this black line as 2. They told us the gradient for this line is 2. And we would like you to work out the angle of inclination. So I'm putting a theta there. I know that doesn't really look like a theta. I'll just do it again. That's theta supposed to be. And we must work out that angle of inclination. Okay. So there's a particular formula we use to write, to calculate the angle of inclination. And I'm so shocked that I didn't write it in that first page. But I want you to copy it down now. This is the formula. Write it as big as you can and it's tan theta is equal to the gradient. This is the formula that we are going to be using to work out theta, the angle of inclination. Okay, so I'm just going to write it a bit smaller now so we can do it here. Tan theta is equal to the gradient. If the gradient is 2, so I can substitute m with 2, I can work out theta by simply taking shift tan of 2. And I punch this into my calculator and my calculator gives me the answer 63,43 degrees. And that is the angle of theta. This is my angle of inclination. That angle over there is 63,43 degrees. Okay. Now, let's reverse this question. Let's pretend that we had our angle of inclination and we need to work out 
our gradient. So um, for this next example, I'm going to say that we don't know what M is, so we don't know what our gradient is, but we do know that this angle of inclination is 135 degrees. So now we can work out M, because we'll just use the formula in reverse. Instead of saying tan theta is equal to M, I'm going to say M is equal to tan theta. It's actually the same thing, but you can see I'm trying to work out M, so I'm putting M on the left hand side. So since they're giving us theta, the angle of inclination, I can write that in over here. And I say tan of 135 degrees, my answer is negative 1. So we now know that the gradient for this line is negative 1. And sure enough, we knew it was a negative gradient because it is going in the negative direction. Okay, so that's how you can work out the angle of inclination.